whenever a customer purchases a domain name through the system and does not add his or her own name servers, these name servers are, are going to be used by default for that order. And these are the name servers that are visible on the super site while a customer is going through the checkout process. So that kind of completes most of our finance and product related settings. I would now like to move on to the sales and marketing automation where you can brand the various interfaces that you use and how to increase upsell opportunities. So for that we need to start. So let's go ahead and start off with SuperSite. So once again we need to go to settings, SuperSite and partner site URL. As you all know, so these are the two ready-made websites that you use you can use to cater to your wholesale and retail markets. So and here is where you can fully or of course partially brand the URLs for your super site and partner site. These are the URLs your customers and sub resellers would use to buy products and services from you. So the basic setting is the partially branded super sites is what we provide to you. To fully brand your URLs, so I'll take an example of the super site URL. So over here you enter the name of your URL in the box given. As the example is shown, which is www.yourcompany.com, you then go to the manage DNS for yourcompany.com and create a CNAME record and point it to the partially branded URL as shown here as an example. The CNAME record itself is also provided by the system. So over here, all you'll be substituting is your chosen domain and in cname.rcwebinar.supersite. So the entire record is given here. All you need to do is simply pick it up and go ahead to the manage DNS of your domain and add 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 the necessary CNAME record. You can then go right ahead and customize your super site and partner site as per your requirements. So similarly, how we branded the URL of your super site and partner site, you can also fully brand your control panel URLs. So for that, we need to go once again under settings, control panel, and URL. So in the given box here, you can enter the URL that you wish to use as your custom URL. You will then have to go to the manage DNS for that domain and add a A record pointing again to the given IP, which is once again mentioned here. And that would be about it. So you can also add once again a sign out URL. So that is that will be the page where your customers and sub resellers will be directed to when they sign out of their control panels. So now one of the most important aspects of maintaining your online brands is fully branding your name servers. So for that, let's go to settings and name servers. We have already given you partially branded name servers as you can see on your screens, but we also give you the option of fully branded name servers, which can be added here. So firstly, you need to register the domain. So for the purposes of, again, our presentation, we have testingpurposes.com. You then need to go to the manage DNS of that domain and add these three name servers. That is ns1.testingpurposes.com, ns2.testingpurposes.com, ns3. So that's how it would go. And then for each of the name servers, each of the four name servers that you'd be adding, you'll need to add three child name servers by adding A records for the given IPs. So let me quickly just show you how that is done. We've already done it for the purposes of the presentation, but I can show you how that looks like. So we go to products, list all orders. That's testingpurposes.com. Once here, we go to the DNS. And manage DNS. As you can see, these are the name servers that w these are the name servers which we added, and the, their particular A records. So we have NS1 dot testing purposes, and we have three of those, and their corresponding IP addresses, and same for NS2, NS3, etc. And that's pretty much how it would be done. So there you go. And now if you're buying both hosting and domains from Reseller Club, these domains, these name servers will be added as default name servers for domain registration. Whereas if you're buying only domains from us and hosting from another provider, you'll have to make these changes in that hosting provider's panel.
and add those name servers to our default name server information for domain registration. So this covers most of our essential features and branding related settings. So one of the best parts about the control panel is uh, the shopping cart integration. So once again for that we go to settings and control panel shopping cart integration. The functionality of the shopping cart integration lies in the fact that this is the feature you use where you go when, when you're planning to upsell products. So here you can integrate your control panel with the super site or as mentioned a custom URL of your choice. We have various other set so this creates immense opportunities for you to upsell other products and services to your existing customers because this is the link to which they're going to be directed when they click on your brand etc. So I s highly suggest taking uh, you know taking full advantage of it. Apart from these, we have uh, various other settings which you could take a look for. So we have settings such as mail preferences over here, where you can opt out of receiving mails from your parent reseller or from us. We also have the legal agreements which you could use to put up on your website for your customers and sub resellers. You also, of course, have the ability to modify them. You also have the ability to add multiple users for the system. And so that would be under company users where you can add some and you can set their rights and permissions so that they only have access to certain menus and certain actions. You also have the option of API kits right over here that you can choose to integrate our system with your pre-existing website using our APIs which are available in two formats that are the SOAP based and the HTTP based. So this covers all the interface and branded branding related settings to start off your business with. Once you've done this, we come to the two other sections of the control panel, which we'll be browsing through extremely quickly. We let's take a look at the managed products and services. So through this particular section, through this particular section, you can add, modify, delete, upgrade, lock, suspend, renew any of the products and services that you sell for all of your customers and resellers. So let me take you through all the features available by taking domain registration as, as, an, as an example. So again, let's go to products, list all orders. And once again, go to testingprocesses.com. As you can see over here in the top panel, you can activate the privacy protection for this domain, which is uh, of course available for absolutely free. You can also choose to renew, lock or unlock, suspend or unsuspend this particular domain from here itself. If you wish to add an additional invoice for this particular domain, say for uh, an SEO service that you're providing to your customer, you can do that from the add invoice tab, which is located over here. You can also activate and use man free managed DNS available with every domain name and a domain and mail forwarding, which is once again free. So these are the kind of macro features that I wanted to show you which are related to a particular product. Again, if you wish to know something specific, um, you can always write into us, but I've tried my best to cover as much as is required. So the next section that I was referring to is managing your customers and resellers. And of course, as the name suggests, here's where you can do so. So here's the customers tab. So if you go to billing, you have a large variety of options. You can manage the billing, you can add funds to their account, you can add invoices, add debit notes, list all other pending transactions. You can send a mail right from the control panel itself, which is a mass mailing tool, which is available to you for your marketing activities. You can go to announcements and set announcements that you wish your customers to view as soon as they log into the control panel. And you can also choose to maintain offline records of your customers by clicking on the export tab at the very end and the entire list will be generated as a CSV file which will be mailed to your listed email address. And so the functions which I showed you right now are identical for sub resellers and you have one extra option over here which is list pending signups. So as I mentioned earlier that you if you choose to manually activate your sub resellers you need to click on the list pending signups and you will be shown the pending sub resellers have signed up with you and you can go ahead and manually activate them. Coming to the next uh, section, which is your billing. So this is where you're going to be maintaining your billing with us here at Reseller Club. 
you can get various types of lists for various types of transactions which you've made through us you can also choose to add funds to your account through this very same tool you can also request for a refund if you ever need to do so and last but not least we also have the tools feature where you, over here where you can generate various reports which are relevant to your business which you could keep track of you can you have the reload part super site and partner site cache so anytime you make any changes from the control panel which need to be reflected on your super site so the most common one actually would be pricing so once you've made the relevant changes you need to go under tools and reload the cache so that it starts to reflect on the super site so that would pretty much cover all the features oh so one of the last things I would like to mention is under the help tab you can directly access live chat with our support team so there's no need to open another browser come on to reseller club and ask for us if you're logged into your control panel you can directly go on live chat with our support team and try to sort sort out any issues that you might be having so I think you've covered most of the features of the control panel again if you have any other questions that you would like to get answered please feel free to mail them in to us so our contact numbers are on the screen if you feel the need to get in touch with us you can definitely choose to give, an, give us a call you can choose to email us or you can choose to email me personally at karthik.jo at resellclub.com and I'll do my best to answer all the questions that you might be having so thanks so much that brings us to the end of our presentation thank you for being here today and I hope this has made managing a business extremely convenient so once again, have a very nice day, <laughs> good night to some of you, and happy reselling. Thank you.